Hello everyone and welcome back to Tether Angels channel. This is Natasha Blazaki from Mart Recipes and More, creative crew member for Canvas Corp for 2018. Today I've got a summer project uh, for you. Um, we are going to alter an object. I just found it um, a couple of days ago and I decided to alter it and because its uh, shape reminds me of a boat I decided to make a, a sailboat and make a beautiful centerpiece for my table for my veranda table um, for this project I'm going to work with glimmer mists again and um, some white gesso a uh, transparent modeling paste and uh, some uh, infusion powders which I love very much and I like combining them with uh, Tater Angels mists so the first thing I have to do is to cut some pieces this is just regular cardboard from packaging maybe this one's from a pizza box I think and glue them on my container so that they will look like wood planks to make it bend a bit more I will try to wet it a bit not too much don't want to overdo it just relax it a bit so it will curve more easily So now I have glued everything down. I have put some construction tape to keep it in place, to keep the cardboard in place until it dries completely. Uh, because the joints do not look uh, the way I wanted them exactly, I will take a piece of canvas and uh, glue it here so it will look uh, much better before applying any of uh, my mists and uh, any medium I will apply a layer of white gesso Because I don't have a brown color apart from uh, Dijon, but it's not exactly what I want right now, uh, I will use a mixture of uh, green and reddish color. This is peony and it is simply sheer mist. It's matte mist and this is a glimmer mist and it's key lime pie. So, I can mix it uh, in a palette or I can be more adventurous and spray directly on my surface and mix them on the surface. And that's what I'm going to do because I want to show you that when you're making a project, it's all about having fun. So, yes, mix the colors directly on the surface. Do not be afraid. Nothing can go wrong. If you don't like what you see, you just wipe it out and start all over again. But don't be afraid to play, to experiment. I will take 
some infusions powder and this is royal blood it's very strong so I will just pour a tiny bit and even spread it with my finger and now I will take another glimmer mist and this is verdigris I have a stencil that has a wood grain pattern and with a palette knife I will apply the transparent modeling paste. What we must keep in mind is that the infusion powders are not permanent are always reactivated unless you we seal them uh, the point is that if I start sealing them with uh, a liquid uh, varnish right now I will start moving around the infusions so I run the risk of turning everything into mud, into a brown muddy thing. I don't want that, so I will spray this with a spray sealant and then I will come back and do some finishing touches. Now this is the other side and by all means if you want a more, a more subtle uh, effect on your project, you can stop right here or maybe add a few details like some dark lines between the colors to, make, to define them and make them pop out. But, of course, this has a great texture and much more details and looks so realistic it gives the feeling of wood of really of real worn out distressed by the sea wood but it's up to you and of course you can go as far as you like with your project because uh, what gesso is very bright and very new and the whole project is uh, has got this distressed look uh, what we can do instead of using white gesso we can use a uh, titan buff acrylic paint which has this light beige uh, color and um, it's more suitable for a vintage look as you can see and we do the same thing we start dry brushing to make it look like it's worn out by the sea I'm just mixing a tiny bit of black gesso with uh, the glimmer mist and uh, I get this dirty wash as if natural dirt has sat on the boat huh? that's very beautiful I can tell you that we're done 
actually. It was that easy to make it. And again, as I said before, you can take it as further as you like or leave it more subtle. It's up to you. It's your project. The only thing you have to do is to have some fun. And I really hope you liked it. My dear friends, this is it. Our project is now finished. Look at it. Isn't this gorgeous? Look all this texture. Who could imagine that this is not real wood, but it is actually a tin container and some pieces of cardboard. What I've done here, because I'm gonna use it as a centerpiece on the table outside in my veranda, uh, I had some small pieces of wood I picked last year on our summer vacation. Uh, they were small pieces of wood, but I joined them and uh, I created this mast and the boom and I cut a piece of denim from an old pair of jeans and uh, also a piece of canvas fabric and uh, I made uh, the sails. I stamped on the sails and this is a little anchor I made with uh, a stencil and um, crackle paste on a piece of cardboard and when the, the paste uh, dried up I fussy cut the anchor and I glued it. Inside my tin I put uh, some stones and pebbles I also picked uh, uh, on, during our vacation last year. This is the back side. The texture is amazing. I really love this. I really do. And I hope you like it too and you will give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got inspired. Uh, soon I'll be back with a new video. Bye-bye.